most blogs have a top menu of some kind. And the thing is, you wanna make sure that you generally just don't have too many things in that top menu because it can become really overwhelming. The problem I see out there is that a lot of bloggers, especially the ones using the free themes again, um, it, it's they have way, way, way too many things in the top menu. And a lot of time it's because the, the theme is very, very poorly programmed and it's not set up to where it gives you as the end user control over that theme or over that menu manually. Uh, so if you're, if that's the case, you need to get another theme. I mean, it's just, I mean, you can fix it, but it gets really geeky and it's probably just not worth your time. Um, but here's the thing. If you go into the WordPress admin panel, and you go to appearance and then you got menus let me click on that wait for it to load here and then there we go you got you can set up these menus in here you can create create menus of different names that you want and you can see i've got one here called top menu and i've got my uh my the links that i want in here so i can select different things from these drop downs i can have my own links to anything i mean i could link to Disney.com if I felt like it from my top menu uh, and you can drag and drop these things it's, it's really really powerful the control that you have and you can see by the list here that it precisely mirrors what you're going to find out here on my public blog so that is how you control the menu now here by default you, you're either going to have a couple of things you're going to have a theme which is displaying all of your pages and you don't have any control over it. And those are the crampy themes. Those are usually the free ones where it's just not set up very well. It's not set up to pull in the new menu system. And if that's the case, you just basically want to get another theme because it's just not up with the times. Now, the other option is that your theme is set up to use these menus that are, that are built into WordPress, except that you don't have anything defined. So therefore, by default, it's just going to display your latest pages um, and it could get really nasty. So what you want to do in that case is take control over it by using this menu system. So you can create a new option, a new menu. I mean, just hit the little plus sign. Um, yeah, leave the page. That's because I'm already on one. And you can name it, say, uh, test menu. You can call it whatever the heck you want. Hit create menu. And then here we go. Let's say I want a link to the blogging category in there. I just hit that, and there we go. You can see, I mean, I can link to um, my home page if I want. You know, just type in your URL. I'll just pretend it's blog.com and say home. Add that in there. Let's say I want that to be first. I drag it up like that. And there you go. I mean, you basically say, save the menu and you're good. Now, the one other thing is after we save, your your theme is designed, if, if it's set up properly, to have certain areas where you, you define what menu goes in which slot, basically. And you can see here, I've got a thing called primary navigation menu. And I've selected my top menu to be that menu system. And that's why uh, on my blog, you see this particular menu. Um, if I wanted to have a different menu show up, like my, my guides menu or something, then I could just select that and it would appear there. And then there's also a secondary navigation menu on my theme where I can have a sub menu appear underneath that. For example, if I click on guides, see I have a list of things show up underneath there. That's my secondary menu. So it, it works out really well. This is the system that you want to use um, with WordPress. And again, if your theme is not set up to use this menu system, then you pretty much want to get a different theme because it's just not up with the times. Pretty much all good, solidly programmed themes these days will make use of WordPress's built-in menu system. Now, before I end off this video, a quick little uh, word of advice to those of you guys using the Genesis framework, which I, which is a great framework, by the way, um, is you might want to check out a plugin called, let me pull it up in a different screen here. I believe it's called Genesis. Yeah, here it is. Genesis Simple Sidebars. Just starting. That's a different one. That's a good plugin too, by the way. But here it is. Genesis Simple Menus. So here's what this does: is it allows you on a per post basis or per page basis to select different sub menus for it. So if you go to, let's go to, like I'm going to add a new page here, and you can see over here on the side, I now have 
menu control. So on this particular page, if I want to display a different menu and a different secondary, oh, here it is, nev, nev, I keep getting confused with the menu one, secondary navigation. I want to have a different control here for my, uh, my navigation. Um, I can do that. So if you go to my site right now and you see how my, my page for guides has this particular secondary menu showing up, but it doesn't show up in other places, that's how I'm doing it. I actually have that simple menus plugin and I've selected the guides menu on that particular page. And if you go over to my menus option, you see I have a menu here for guides. And you can see that I have the mem the, a lot of my most popular guides listed in that particular menu. So again, if you're using the Genesis framework, um, definitely recommend that you check out that particular plugin called Genesis Simple Menus.